Top of the good mythical welcome to the workshop, ladies and gentlemen, morning to ya. <laughs> Well, I don't even know if I can buy these anymore. WD-40's growing hair. I'm gonna cut myself. Day five, four, three, two, one, six, something like that. We're gonna do some videoing. Fly away! Be free, watermelon rinds! <laughs> and two hours later, here we are! Done! It's not even hot. That was actually more like three hours because it cooled down. Da, 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 da. All right, ready to grind this, Josh? Let's grind. Didn't we just grind it? We got to do more grinding. We spent like hours grinding it. And oh, well, like one hour. Okay, so we're gonna do our final grinding now. It's just rough ground, rough, rough ground. And I think we got to grind this bad spot completely out still. Then we can uh, make it look pretty and start getting it ready to have a handle fit on. Let's do it. Safety first. Earplugs. Those are my glasses. I'm Kyle. <laughs> That's exactly how I sound. <laughs> Yours are over there. There you ones. All right. Let's grind this bad spot out, and then we'll mark the edge again and grind the blade bevels down more. Where did my gloves go? Here they are. And walking the ninja walk really makes my feet cramp up. What's the ninja walk? See, my feet helps you stay steady. So that way you can hold the camera still. Ah. Ow. I see. He's thinking. I think your light's a little, uh, <laughs> blinky. That thing's fallen on the floor a couple times. I'm surprised that bulb has, uh, is still working. Has still is working our hey Josh I've been thinking about intros for our videos so we should uh, we should do a combination of other youtubers like put them all together like uh, I can think of a couple combinations like top of the good mythical welcome to the workshop ladies and gentlemen morning to ya I think we should do a video on it sometime where we combine like a hundred of the top youtubers and just say it in one long word I think it'd be really fun their intros Try that, I think when we go to grind the edge thinner, it might grind out of it. So let's mark the edge next with a granite. Oh, oh, hey Kai. Okay, stand back over there. Now go to where you're gonna go. Only I'll walk in front of you. And hopefully not trip over something and die. This is actually really dangerous, I'm not doing that. <laughs> so the tip is uh, warped pretty bad. Hopefully it'll straighten out as I grind on it. Oh man, it's warped the direction that makes it so there's nothing to grind on this side. Okay, now there's two lines that I can barely see. That'll work. <laughs> I can walk backwards. Oh, yeah, yeah, wait, come back over here. Walk the same way you walked before and go that way. And we'll just <laughs> we'll just put it in reverse. Okay, here. <laughs> okay, uh, yeah, like reverse what you did. <laughs> Now what? Um, now, I don't know. <laughs> let's see, um, let's disc sand the sides of this and get it pretty. What tool did you use before you had this one? I used that for a while. <laughs> <laughs> what the heck, this is a scroll. Yeah, but that disc on there is custom CNC made by a machinist. It's heat treated steel, it's, an, it's the most amazing disc ever. It's way better than the disc on this one, but the, uh, the variable speed and motor and everything on this one's a lot better than... The Can't you transfer this? Yeah. This one's not a bad disc. Though. Might have to put a different disc on. That thing sounds expensive. 
man, I love this tool. <laughs> Got a nice machine finish on there now. That area will be pretty much done. You know, I think I'll go ahead and hit the spine and get that cleaned up. The disc sander on the spine. I might finish doing the blade bevels first so we don't scratch it, scratch it up. So to change the speed on this grinder, I gotta change the belt over. I'm like 12 or 13 years old now. Bought it shortly after starting that. It week. looks pretty reliable. Like, there's not much that could go wrong with it. Uh-uh. Nope, you only get three speeds though. I hardly ever use the slow speed though. Medium and fast are good enough. Twenty minutes later. I think uh, now we need to con put a convex edge on the knife. So it'll be mostly flat ground. The edge will be slightly rolled over to give it uh, a little bit more strength, but still have a fairly thin edge. So we'll put some tape on the spine. This will protect me from dinging up the spine. Just like so. And to do this, we're gonna use the slack belt up here and lay it over real flat and it'll bring that edge down to nothing. Just come in here and grind it like that. Now it comes down to a nice fine edge. Pretty sharp. <laughs> you cut a water bottle? Probably, yeah. It doesn't have a, a, a good durable edge on it yet, but it's definitely sharp. I think we could probably cut a water bottle with it. So that edge isn't very strong? No. Well, how would you make it strong? Uh, when I sharpen it on the diamond cone, well, that'll make it strong. Which will make it thinner, which will make it weaker. No, it'll actually make it a little bit thicker than the very edge is right now. Well, but it'll be sharper? Uh-huh. How does that make sense? You'll see. <laughs> That's interesting. Oh, because of the degree of... Yeah, because of the sharpening angle. All right, what do you think? Think we can cut a water bottle with it? I think we can. Oh! Oh, Almost. so close. Yeah, it's it's not that sharp yet. It's just a little bit sharp. Let's try a uh, soda can. Also, there's not much to hold on to right now. This probably won't cut at all. Ah! Wow. wow! Did it. It cut. Not even sharpened yet. All right, um, how's the blade? Blade's good. Kind of have that bad spot in there still, but I think it's gonna be okay. Let's go do a little more so, grinding on it. And, uh, how much do you guys sell that knife for, Kyle? I don't know, I might keep it, because I like it so much, and it's really cool. We gotta give it back to Dad to replace his shovel. Oh yeah. I'd like to run over it and do a quick 320 grit finish. Actually, we'll use this right here. It's 220. So after this 220, what's next? Uh, I might use a cork belt and try to smooth it all up with that. Like actual cork? Yeah. <laughs> you got all your fingers intact? What the heck? <laughs> yeah, they break sometimes. Oh, that freaks me out. I don't know what it caught on. This isn't the one Dad glued together, is it? Man, my heart's going. It didn't catch on the edge. Fingers okay? Yeah. Man, I bet that could get ugly real fast. I don't know what it, what happened on it, okay? Well, I'll try a 320 grit after all. Wow. Woo! Now the cork. Cool. Hopefully it'll hold together, because last time I used it, I had a cork belt break apart just like that last one. It's like rubber. Here's a brand new one, of <clears throat> course. Yeah, this one used to be like that. I put a bunch of buffing compound on it. Could break apart though, because it's really, really old in this, uh, see the seam? Yeah. Oh, actually, uh. <laughs> well, I don't even know if I can buy these anymore. Okay, well, we're not doing that. Uh, probably take a long time to get it to look like that one. Oh, you gotta get it to look like that before it does anything? Might just try it with no buffing compound too. This is 800 grit. This one's really old too, but it hasn't been soaked in WD-40 and buffing compound, so it should hold together better. 20 minutes later. Let's go put some tape on it real quick and then we'll clean up the edge and uh, move on to maybe grinding the clip. 
20 minutes later. Now we can uh, put some tape on here and clean up this choil area. Choil. Choil. I just bring the tape over here. I wanna put tape on it so we don't scratch it up because it's looking pretty. Uh, actually, let's put some lines on there too. <laughs> some lines? Yeah. Some lines to grind too. With your uh, line maker? This is a height gauge. Some machinist out there would have a fit if he saw me using it to scribe lines probably. All right, that'll give me a line to grind through there so it's nice and flat. That is going to fall in the water. Uh, I don't know if that's any better. We need to get you a small little table right here. Yeah, that would actually be really handy. I put stuff all over that bucket. <laughs> Smooth out those edges a little bit. Put a Scotch Brite wheel. What grit is that? Uh, hard, hard grit. Mm -hmm. I don't know. <laughs> Kyle, your WD forty is growing hair. Yeah, puffing hair. <laughs> the same thing, only thinner one. I'll try to get in here. Buffing wheel. What's that? Buffing compound. Isn't that like 2,000 grit or something like that? Probably close to 3,000. That buffing compound has like really fine sand or something in it? Yeah, really fine something, I'm not sure. Gotta be careful, this is the most dangerous tool in the shop. If the buffing wheel grabs a blade, it could throw it back at your face or your stomach or the ceiling and grab it and spin it around and throw it at you. Gotta be real careful. All right, shiny. Wow. You gonna do this the rest of the night? Nope, we're gonna keep it satin finished. I just like to add little shiny details on the uh, bottom of the Ricasso there sometimes. My grind is not too bad. <laughs> Starting to look more like a knife. Grind the clip in it. Actually, let's, let's sand this uh, fine first. cleaned up. Now the clip, and then the blade will be pretty much done. Or ready for the guard fit anyway. Clip, 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 clip. What am I doing? What are you doing? Uh, clip. clip. What's that? Standing belt. What grit's that? Very, very worn out. 36. Ah, it's hot. Everything's hot. Always hot. The knife's kind of sharp right now. I want to take the edge off a little bit because I'm going to cut myself. How about you put gloves on? I can't feel what I'm doing to do the gloves very well. Is that your uh, B sharp game tool? Uh-huh. Among many other things. What else can you do? Takes the edge off things, like handle parts that I don't want sharp. <laughs> what is that? EDM stone, yeah. What's that? Sandpaper glued to a block of uh, aluminum. Is that how you sharpen your knife? No, oh. how I dull it though. There we go, it helped me not cut myself. All right, I think the blade is pretty much ready to start having the handle fit on. It's got some smears in it. Not bad for a Canadian shovel, eh? <laughs> hey. Peace. Man, I felt like I was working at 300 miles an hour and I had to skip on so many details that I would normally not skip on. Really? Normally, just grinding a clip, Josh, takes the whole time that we spent tonight. That's how long, how, that's how much time I spend just doing that part. Because I want it perfect. Is it perfect? Actually, it's almost perfect. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually almost my custom knife quality of the clip. And like, I spend way more time with this area here, mm -hmm. normally. And this area, I don't know. It's shiny, but it's also like deep scratches in there still. Because we just buffed over it. It actually looks really nice though, huh? Are you recording this? Yeah. <laughs> hey.